unbeknownst to many, today is the most significant day in the Jewish calendar. Today is the 28th day of ER, the newest day for a celebration in Jewish tradition, Yom Yerushalayim, Jerusalem Day. It was 53 years ago on this day that Jerusalem was reunited and the Kotel Hama'aravi, our most sacred shrine, the Western Wall, was once again back in our hands. I know the joy that was felt in Israel at that time because shortly thereafter, Sherry and I visited Israel for the first time. And I don't have to tell you that the effect of that visit has been a part of us ever since. It felt as if the whole city was heading towards the Western Wall. And there was excitement in the streets. There was the thrill. There was the thrill of victory. There was a feeling that after such a decisive victory, the Arabs would finally make peace. With that hope for peace came the question of what if the Arabs insist on the return of territories? And what if they insist on the return of parts of Jerusalem, perhaps even the part that includes the Kotel Hamaravi? This question was asked to my teacher, the late great Rabbi Joseph Soloveitchik, and the answer that he gave had a profound effect on my thinking ever since to this very day. I'll quote to you some of his words. He said the following, one indeed is on a great spiritual level if he desires to pray at the Western Wall. But many mistakenly believe that the significance of the victory lies more in regaining the Kotel Hamaravi than in the fact that two million Jews were saved. I want you to understand, I give praise and thanks to the Rabona Shalom for liberating the Kotel Hamaravi and for liberating and for removing all Eretz Israel from the Arabs so that it now belongs to us. But I don't need to rule whether we should give the West Bank to the Arabs or not to give the West Bank to the Arabs. We rabbis should not be involved in decisions regarding the safety and security of the population. These are not merely halachic rulings. These decisions are a matter of pikuach nefesh, of saving the lives for the entire population. And if the government were to rule that the safety of the population requires returning specific territories, their decision is the deciding factor. Pikuach nefesh, saving lives, supersedes all other mitzvot. And all these silly statements I read in the newspapers about giving back territory and not giving back territory. These Jews are playing with two million lives. As dear as the Kotel Hamar Ravi is, the two million lives of Jews are more important. Should we give back? These decisions require a military perspective based upon security. It's not a topic appropriate for which rabbis should release statements. Wow two points that I make for today. First point, this shows us how Judaism cherishes every single life. To Rabbi Soloveitchik, the saving of the life was infinitely more important than retaking the Kotel Hamaravi, our most sacred shrine. That's how important Judaism considers 
our lives. Second point, when it comes to decisions that can affect our lives, listen not to the rabbis, but to the experts. Keep that in mind and celebrate with the Jewish people. Sisu et Yerushalayim Giluba. Rejoice in Jerusalem, all those who love it. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>